Hi, this is Rahul Kapoor and welcome back to yet another session for self-discovery and to ignite your inner potential. We're talking about Johari's window today. As I speak, have a look at these four quadrants or the four windows of Johari. The open window, the blind window, the hidden window and the unknown window. Now, what do these four windows represent? Basically, your own life. The open window is all about things that I know about you and you know about yourself. Now, I would know about you only when you express yourself, you talk, you communicate, your ideas, your beliefs, your experiences, and therefore, your open window is created. The hidden window are things that I don't know about you. These could be your secrets, these could be your ideas, beliefs, and values that you want to keep to yourself, and you're operating your life using those, but I have no access to it. So we call that the hidden window. The third, which is important, the most important if you ask me, is called the blind window. Things that I know about you, but you don't know about yourself. Now, let me give you a smaller example. Let's say you and I are having lunch together and while you're eating, a small piece of food sticks onto your lip. Now, you can't see it, but I can see it. So I can tell you, hey, listen, something's there. Would do you want to remove it? And you remove it. And of course, you look clean and nice again. Just like that, there are so many things about yourself that you are not aware of. Could be um, that some of you are closed, uh, some of you have a high ego, or you may have too much of resistance, or you might be too critical. Uh, people can notice that particular attribute of your behavior, and they know this that it is really interfering in terms of them experiencing peace and joy with you, or um, or a flow with you while they're with you. But you may not even acknowledge it. And the fourth window is called the unknown window. I don't know about you and you don't know about yourself. Now these could be some really deep uh, uh, past experiences and uh, memories or even beliefs and values which are actually operating from your unconscious mind or maybe the subconscious mind uh, and you have no idea that they are really acting as filters uh, while you take certain actions and therefore because you're not aware of it a lot of human beings never get an access to this element at all and they also perhaps leave the world in that ignorance now what is it that we really need to do with this understanding of johari's window uh, well our quest is to expand the open window as much as we can and and the only way of doing that is when you live a very open life where you're communicating with people you're laughing you're enjoying and you're full of uh, connect with human beings uh, but it's easier said than done simply because you have the hidden window uh, which is blocking you you have the blind window which stops you from growing and that's really where human beings really experience struggle so here's an interesting take isn't it to the life struggles uh, and how we can overcome them using self-awareness as a medium and my suggestion to you is that you start looking at your blind window open yourself to feedback Talk to people, especially your loved ones, people whom you trust and ask them to give you feedback as frequently as you can in various circumstances of life. When you take feedback from people, don't take the feedback to beat yourself down. Don't take the feedback to criticize yourself. Take the feedback to actually improve yourself. Look at the feedback, reflect on it, ask yourself what you can do about it and how you can really improve. In fact, ask those people who have given you the feedback on what you can do or how you can improve. It can be fabulous to hear from people and then bring about a change. Now, just one small red flag here though. Uh, sometimes you may get very critical feedback from one person or maybe two people. Now, don't get bogged down by that. The rule always is when you get feedback, make sure that you get feedback at least from four or five different people before you validate that. And don't get carried away by one person's or two people's biased feedback about you. Feedback, they say, is the food of champions. Yes, really, it is. The human quest is all about being better every day. And the only way to be better every day is to keep getting feedback from other people and also to keep reflecting on what's happening in your life. By having some good coaches and mentors and psychotherapists, we can even access our unknown window and start working on it. 
and of course if you will be open and honest with people communicate your ideas and beliefs uh, your your suggestions are given freely you'll see that your hidden window also will start diminishing in size when the three of them become small the open window becomes large you'll experience absolute joy you will experience bliss you will experience centeredness you will experience that people around love you and they really get attracted towards you and that's how you can live a very happy and a fulfilled life i hope this is going to give you some good nice insight today to how this window it is and don't forget to reflect don't forget to keep the quest of self improvement going forever and ever this is rahul kapoor until we meet the next time you take care of yourself and don't forget to share your views on this video share your views about your life in the comment section until the next time bye